number one. So again, this is Square Run, and this is if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe also to my channel. And uh, this time, what I have in mind, I would like to share to you is another way or another measure of central tendency for group data, and it's the median. Well, surely median for group data is different, totally different with computing the median for ungrouped data. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. Okay, so here is our example in solving the median for group data. So this is our given, the class interval and then the frequency. Now the, the two columns added here, these are the things needed to be filled out so that we can solve for our median. So let's start with the class boundaries or class or it's known also as the true limits. So how do we complete this column? To do this one, to get the lower boundary, we call it the lower boundary. Our lower limit here is minus 0.5. So 18 minus 0.5, that is 17.5. And then to get its uh, uh, part there, the upper boundary, the upper limit here is plus 0.5. So, 27 plus 0.5, that is 27.5. And then, to make it easier, instead of doing the whole process over and over again, we will just add our uh, boundaries here with our width. So, 17.5 plus 10, that's 27.5, 37.5, 47.5, 57.5, Okay, we completed already all the lower boundary. And then also the same thing for the upper boundary. This is 37.5, 47.5, 57.5, and of course 77.5. So you notice we completed it. It's a lot easier. Okay? It's easier than uh, you can imagine. So you notice that in here, between the upper boundary and then the lower boundary of succeeding intervals, there is no gap. But if you look at the interval between the upper limit and then the lower limit of succeeding intervals, there is a gap of 1. That's why this is called a true boundary. Because indeed, there is no more other uh, perfect boundary for our interval. Now, the last column here is the cumulative frequency. In fact, it's called the less than cumulative frequency because there are two. But our focus is only less than cumulative frequency because that's what's needed in computing our median. So how do we do this? We start with... Okay, the frequency of the first interval, 5. To get the next entry, the our entry here, the first entry, plus the second. So, 5 plus 6, you have 11. 11 plus 10, that is 21. 21 plus 15, that is, um, what, 20, or rather 36. Plus 10, that is 46. Plus 4, that is 50. Take note, you should end with 50, as it should coincide with your sample size. Otherwise, something is wrong here. So that's uh, it. That's, uh, we need to complete this part or we need to have this in order to solve for median. So since we have this, let me introduce to you now our formula. The formula is, ta You have x bar or x tilde uh, equals x sub lb plus the quantity of n the minus or divided by 2 minus uh, f or C F sub B divided by F sub M uh, times the width. Now, let me just check and let's go ahead. What are these notation involved? So, our X sub LB that is simply the lower boundary of the median class. Okay? Our N is, of course, as always, is our sample size. And then C sub FB, this is sub FB rather. That is F is here. Okay, and then that's the cumulative frequency. Take note before the median class. That's why F B there is necessary. F sub M is our frequency of the median class, and I of course is the width of the class interval, and finally X sub X tilde is our median. Now knowing all of this, let's identify. You notice that it all mentioned about median class. How to get the median class? Here we go. Find the median class. To get the median class, that is simply n over 2. 
Why divided by 2? Because that is to locate our median. We divide a data set into 2. So there you go, you will find your median. So our n is 50, so that's 50 divided by 2, you have 25. 25 here is not, it's not the median, but it's rather that is the middle as we divide a data set into 2. So what are we going to do with 25? 25 now, we are going to look for a value of 25 in our cumulative frequency. But check, there is no 25. We only have 21 and 36, which are somehow closer. But here's the deal. To get or to identify the median class using this result here, we cannot consider 21. You know why? Because technically speaking, it's not yet uh, even half. We'd rather get what is more than instead of locking. So instead of getting or picking this as our median class, we will pick 36. So we will highlight now this part. Okay. This is our median class. So, we identify the median class. Since we identify the median class, then I think it is now a lot easier to identify our value. Let's start from here. So, you have, okay, x tilde, our lower boundary. What's the lower boundary of this highlighted uh, row? We have 47.5. Okay, that is our lower boundary, x sub lb. And then, after which, oh, i rather, let's identify it here so that it's a lot easier to do it. X of LV is 47.5. And then our, next we have N is 50. Of course, C sub F, B is, um, oh, M sub F is the cumulative frequency before the median class. This is the median class, the highlighted one. Before this, the cumulative frequency is 21. So that is C sub F B. So we have 21. And next, we have F sub M. That's the frequency of the median class. The frequency of the median class is 15. So that is, this is 15. Of course, our I is here, which is 10. So I think we did, miss, we did not miss anything. Let's substitute. So we have now x sub lb is 47.5. Our n divided by 2, which is already found here, which is 25. And then minus our f sub fb is 21. Divided by our f sub m, that is 15, times our i, which is 10. Okay, let's continue. This is 47.5 plus, of course, that's... 4 over 15 times 10. Okay, so as we arrive here, we have now 47.5 plus, of course, this expression. Now, as we will solve this one, of course, use your magic calculator to do it a lot easier. The answer for this one is 50.1 or 17 as we round it to the nearest uh, hundreds. Well, near, nearest hundreds because commonly answer is only rounded to the nearest hundreds. Okay, so that is our median for this example. So you notice the process is a little bit long compared to solving the mean, but of course, nothing is so difficult so long as you know how to do it. So, without guys, with that, guys, do you have any? Should you have any question about this uh, explanation or this video? Leave it in the comment section. And also, it will be much appreciated if you will also subscribe to this channel and at the same time like the uh, click the notification bell so for you to be notified. So with that, thank you so much guys for uh, being with me until this uh, the end of this explanation.